Hello and welcome back to some more Critic Captain 2020 and part 29 of the road to world number one with England. Today we have the fourth test match of the Ashes series against Australia. Of course, it's all gone wrong so far in this test series. We lost uh, the first three matches and last episode was a heartbreak. Uh, Australia beat England by one wicket. We were so, so close to beating them. It was... Uh, a tough match, you know, you could look back in retrospect and say we threw away a few wickets by being aggressive in the second innings and yeah, if we got another 50 runs on the board, we would have won the match easily but uh, hey, whole hindsight is a wonderful thing, it gives us a chance to mix up the side a little bit and uh, see how uh, other guys are doing so I want to bring Dan Child in uh, to have a little go Root's going to bat at three um, as a little bit of a, of a change of, of line up there uh, I'm going to bring in Ollie Stone as well Ollie Stone's uh, going to come in for Chris Wokes we'll see how he does uh, in this match um, we've also um Got the decision of whether to, to keep Mo and Ali in the squad. I think I think definitely to keep him in uh, at the moment. We're we're going to bring in uh, Johnny Bairstow as well. See how he does with the gloves uh, instead of Ollie Pope. And I kind of want to bring in Don Bess as well. But you know we've got two two dead rubbers here to to make some changes. So I think we'll we'll stick it at that for now. Um, Dan Child, where does he like to bat? Um, number three, so we'll play him at three. We'll play him where he likes to play. I think Sibley and Burns have been in fabulous form this series, so keep them going for the moment, and uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. I suppose we're going to bat first and try our best to to set a good target. Of course, uh, you know these final two matches do mean something in a way. Uh, with the Test Championship, we'd love to uh, win these last two and at least salvage something um, from that. They're appealing, but uh, obviously no way back into the series, and it, it would have set up for a brilliant, brilliant finale had we um, had we won that last Test match, and I think. We should have won it, but that's a great ball, and Burns has gone. He's out for 22, so Dan Child comes to the crease for his first Test match um, innings. And it would be nice to, to see how he does. You know, he's uh, a young player, only 18 years old, of course, coming in at number three Fine shot. in your first Test match in a dead rubber of the ashes. You know, what an opportunity he's been given. sibley has gone as well. He's over for 31, so not the best start. That was so close to finding the edge. Oh dear, that was sloppy. There's another four buys in the series. That could be out. And it is. Root's gone for three. So 84 for three here. Lots of pressure on uh, Dan Child's shoulders now to rescue this innings. He's doing all right so far. He's hammered and Ben Stokes has come in and having a little bit of a, a swing. Child gone. He's out for 27. So some rather mediocre fielding there. A shame for him. Nicely timed. Good shot from Bairstow. And again, so Bairstow makes an explosive return. Showing us why we should have been playing him the whole series. Fine shot. Yeah, good stuff. But it's all about trying to work out who our best players are. We've got the West Indies series the after Christmas. Stokes has gone for 35. Everybody's just getting in and getting out here. Johnny Bear still moves past 50. Beautifully timed off drive. Obviously Jason Roy comes in as well. Soundly beaten. He's picked that up nicely. He had no idea what to do with that. Good shot. 
This is really nice from these two. Obviously the, the, the one day open as. So they're well used to batting with each other. Oh, it's a cracker from Jason Roy, and he's going to head towards his 50, hopefully. And there it is. 50 for Jason Roy. Single well played. No a round of applause goes up for the half century. So these two putting together a nice little partnership. That's at the pads. I think that's outside the, the line. Unmoved, but it must have been close. Shot. And that's four all the way. No ball as well. End of day one, two seven seven for five. Definitely a good little recovery. We didn't know where that was. They're still into the eighties. Beautiful shot. Typical thing with us, isn't it? When the pressure's not on, we can play beautifully. Beautiful shot. That was brilliant from Jason Roy. It's another four. What an over. He moves into the 80s as well. By far his highest test match score. In the 90s now. There still seems to have stalled a little bit Beautiful today, start. but there you go. Very well played. What a shot from Jason Roy on to 99 now. Well, the oh, bestow has gone. Boundary, but he's out. Great catch. Oh, what a shame he's out for 87. Moan Alley comes to the crease. And there's a sentry for Jason Roy. Brilliant innings from him. He's reached his sentry. Well batted. And he'll be delighted. They'll have to be quick. This could be out. Simone Alley. Savage shot. Four more. He's been in great form this series as well. He was nowhere near the ball. Good shot. Four runs. No. Got him. Oh, well, he's gone. Good ball. Ollie Stone comes to the crease. Obviously, not a specialist batsman, so. Might as well, well I was going to say give Roy a bit of uh, room to manoeuvre, but good shot. Got out straight away. Not a shot the batsman would like to see again. And that's a real body blow. In oh, every... don't be out! Oh, thank goodness for that. The big shout. Lunch interval day two, three seven four for eight. These two building a frustrating little partnership. Oh, Oh, Anderson gone. As soon as you pitch it up to the good ball, the tail enders, you you've got them flapping. A big shout! Yeah, nice shot. Ooh, how did that miss? And there's four, and that brings up the four hundred. I certainly wasn't expecting that when Jason ball. Roy went. But Tail enders have a done a decent job, and well, there you go, 412 in the first innings. We've got runs on the scoreboard at the very least. So here we go then, Anderson and Gates. Uh, Gates has had a fabulous series with the ball. Can he continue it today? It's going to be the question. Gates to Warner. He's miscued that one. Not quite. I'm going to pitch it up. I've found a bit of success with pitching it up this series. Well, that wasn't a good shot. But uh, nothing there. Ollie Stone and Ben Stokes. Hopefully we'll see those two perform well. Stone into Warner. Gets the wicket! Well done, Ollie. He's gone for 52. So Australia lose their first wicket. Moan Alley and Norman Gates to finish out the day. Alley to Burns would be nice to get another wicket here. Not out. There you go, end of day two then. 1-5-1 one, one for two. Anderson to Burns first over of the day. Not quite. 
Go back to normal pitching. Gates to Burns. Well, Out. How did he catch that? Straight away. He's gone for 82. He's edged it. Steve Smith first ball edged for four. Anderson to Labashank. Not quite. That's gone though. Smith out for 10. Big wicket, of course. Always is the case when you get Steve that. Smith out. Always a big wicket. Stone back in with Moan Alley. Stone in ahead. Big oh, appeal. It's good delivery. I think it's slipping oh, down leg. Oh, the bowler's muttering under his breath, but he'd better keep that to himself. Yeah, just slipping down leg. Oh, well, it wasn't. Well, looked like it was going to slip down leg, but. Uh, Where's that going? That's caught now. and head gone for 61. Alley gets his first wicket. It's good to see. That's a thick edge. Punch interval day three then. Moan Alley. Uh, yeah, we'll continue with these two for a little while. This could be out. Alley's been unlucky, has to be said. Stokes and Gates, new ball available. What a oh, great catch. A dropped catch. Could be out. No. Stokes to Labashang. He's, He's gone. Out. He's out for 111. Excellent uh, series for Labashang. Oh, another drop. Fingers. Who on earth is that in the slip cordon? Whoever it is, he's struggling. Oh, he's what a ball. Philippe gone for seven. Norman Gates gets his third wicket. Anderson, worryingly, hasn't had a wicket yet. Good ball, but a Batson was completely beaten. Interval day three, four eighteen for six. So Australia in the lead now. Oh, that was close. That's oh. out. Ollie Stone gets his second wicket. Nice to see. A huge shout goes up. Well, the batsman's always going to get the benefit of the doubt. Nice to see that we have, have maybe a chance after Broad and Anderson retire. Big oh, great ball from Stone. That's his third wicket of the innings. He's played all round. That could be his fourth. Not out. The umpire. Not quite. Anderson still struggling. Stone to Cummins. Oh. Got him. He's gone for six. Come on, Stone. Get your five wicket all. Bowler appeals. Not quite. <laughs> That's a thick edge. That looked very nervous to me. Gates into Marsh. Ooh, there was no Not quite right. That's very, very close indeed. Not out. A slightly desperate appeal. Well, Australia declare on 5 3 8 for 9. Very interesting. But there you go. So, uh,. They'll actually have one over bowling at us. I guess that's why they've done it. And that's there you go. Sibley gone. So it made sense for them to do it. And we're two for one. At the end of that day. Well, Dan Child and Rory Burns. Well hit. Have to get off to a good start here. Not bad from Burns. Good little start for him. Good shot. Four runs. There was never any doubt. Mm, that's out. Well, he waited for the decision. Child gone for 32. Not a bad debut, but certainly could do better. He will get another match. Taken catch. Root gone again. Very cheaply. Joe Root. Beautifully oh, Stokes gone as well. Four down now. 
Burn's okay. gone as well. This could very quickly be the end here. Yeah. He's middle that. This looks very much like an England baton collapse to me. But Roy and Bairstow were the ma the men who took us from a 250 looking innings to a 400 looking innings, and uh, well, they've certainly started nicely here. So Ooh, nearly dropped. got there. That would have been a brilliant catch. I have to say, the fielding in general in this series has been pretty abysmal from both sides. Up it goes. But Bairstow's gone. Good catch. He's out for 22. Ali comes to the crease. And that's four. And, uh, well, uh, that's it, the pads. Staring and innings. Well, pretty much an innings defeat right in the eyes here. Roy's gone. Oh, he's oh, gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's a confident appeal. Not much you can really say other than unbelievable. They need 26 to win. Not much chance of us getting anything here. That's a well, Gates at least gets another wicket to his tally in the series, but it is going to be 4-0. Amazingly, we reach T. He's really picked but there it one. is, four runs and Australia and win. win. By nine wickets, I mean, you wouldn't have thought after scoring 400 uh, in the first innings in two consecutive matches that we uh, lose them, but two very poor second innings uh, performances for us have cost us. And, uh, well, there you go. That's the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe for more Critic Captain content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.